Pop the chocolate chocolate. Ash, ash, pop the chopped chocolate. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. For you today, I have the easiest, the creamiest, and the mintiest no baked cheesecake, your other mint. It's a mint arrow cheesecake and it's packed full of chunks of mint arrow and mint arrow bubbles. Oh my God, it's so good. It takes about 15 minutes to make and you can pop it in the fridge overnight and the following day you've got this amazing, really quick and really simple dessert. It's so good. It has a dark chocolate digestive biscuit base. Oh my God. And the cheesecake filling is so quick and simple. You'll never go back to using gelatin in it again. In fact, it's so simple. My mum, who doesn't bake, loves making this cheesecake. She's made it with so many different flavours as well. So if my mum likes it and my mum can make it, I know you guys are going to love it too. You'll also find a couple more cheesecake recipes on the channel, especially the Maltesers cheesecake, which is probably my favorite out of these two. I'll link to it up here. You can go and check that one out. There's also a no-bake unicorn cheesecake as well that's full of jelly beans and has a chocolate chip cookie base as well. So go and check them out. I'll pop the links up above. But I guess you've had enough of me waffling on and you want to see this cheesecake. So let's get to it. Okay then guys, let's get our ingredients. First up, double or heavy cream. You then want full fat cream cheese. I'm using Philadelphia and full fat's really important. Melted butter, slightly salted or unsalted. Icing sugar or powdered sugar. This is for some sweetness. Dark chocolate digestives for the biscuit base. Peppermint extract, check out the blog for more about that. Green food colour gel, this will give it its mint colour. And of course, mint aero chocolate. So for the recipe, first up you're going to need a spring form cake pan. That's the one with a clamp on the side so it makes making your cheesecake out easier. I line mine, so I place a piece of baking parchment over the top. I open the spring form as far as it will go, pop it over the top and then reclamp it. This really helps get the cheesecake out nice and easy after it's all set. You can pop the scissors round the outside to take off any excess. Now then, you need your dark chocolate digestives or whatever biscuit you're using and we're going to crush these. I'm using a food processor but you could use a mini chopper. We're looking for a fine sandy crumb here. Then add the melted butter, pop the lid back on and give them another whirl. When you've got something that looks like wet sand, you know you're ready. Grab your lined cake pan and pop all the biscuit crumb into the base of the pan. Using the back of a spoon, push all the biscuit crumbs all around the base of the pan. Then pop it in the fridge to chill for at least 30 minutes. Right then, now you're going to need a large mixing bowl. And we're going to add our double cream and then our full fat cream cheese as well. Next up is your icing sugar. I'm using a Nielsen Massey peppermint extract. You can get peppermint extract in the supermarket. It doesn't have to be this one, but you only want a little bit. I'm using a teaspoon here, too much, and it's gonna taste like toothpaste. And no one wants toothpaste cheesecake. For the color, I'm using a green food color gel. So this is going to give us a really lovely minty green colour. The liquid gels are just going to add more liquid. So stick with the gel and it's perfect. Before we whip this up with a hand mixer, we're just going to give it a stir together with a spatula. It just stops the icing sugar from going everywhere. Then when you're ready, grab your hand mixer and give it a whiz. Looking for a nice soft and thick texture. Now it's time for our chocolate. I'm using mint aero chocolate here, but you could use other mint chocolate if you prefer. I'm just going to chop it up into small chunks. Pop that into your cheesecake filling. 
in the form of arrow, and we're adding some extra chocolate with mint arrow bubbles. Stir everything together really well. And grab your base out of the fridge and pour everything in. When your filling is ready, grab the chilled base from the fridge and pour the cheesecake filling on top. Easy. Grab a spoon again and level it off. Make sure you get into all the edges and you can use my favourite ankle spatula to get a nice smooth finish. When that's done, pop it in the fridge overnight to chill. It needs at least six hours. Once that's done, you're ready to go great. To get the cheesecake out of the pan, I use a warm, sharp knife and just run it gently around the edges. Be really careful that you don't dig into the cheesecake itself. Release the clamp and there you go. Just give it a little level and a smooth over with an angled spatula. To decorate we're using a whipped cream, so you need some more double cream. and some icing sugar. Add the two together. Then gently beat them with a handheld mixer until smooth and pipeable. Don't over whip it, otherwise your cream will split. Grab a piping bag and a nozzle. I'm using a French tip nozzle here because I really like the effect that it gives. Then fill the icing bag with the whipped cream. Pipe round the top of your cheesecake however you wish. I'm using a rope effect for going round the top of my cheesecake. Finish off with a little extra chocolate. And if there's any spare, have one for yourself. And there we have it, mint aero cheesecake. You're in the fridge and it'll keep fresh for up to three days. See, how simple is that? 15 minutes at the most with a night chilling in the fridge. You can put your feet up. And you've got this amazing dessert. It's so good. And the best bit is the cheesecake filling can be any flavor you want. Hit the link below and check out the website and you'll find the Malteser one, the unicorn one, a chocolate orange one. Oh my God, that's so good. And everybody's favorite, a Biscoff one. Go and have a cheesecake fest. Go on, do it now. If my mum can do it, so can you. So if you've liked this, don't forget you can find the full recipe and ingredients on the blog. The link is down below in the comments. And if you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button, don't forget the notification bell, and YouTube will let you know next time I post a video. In the meantime, whatever you are in the world, I hope that you're safe and well, and I will see you next time. Take care.